Here's a quick guide to the main drawing functions on Affinity Designer for the iPad. We'll start with the pen tool, which can be used by tapping points on the screen and Affinity will join those up for you. Or you can hold down, drag out these handles and manipulate the curves as you wish. I find going back in with the node tool and editing these later is a much easier, faster way of doing things. But this is the most precise way of using uh, line drawing on Affinity. If you're looking for something with a bit more of a natural drawing style, you can use the pencil tool, which works in a similar way to the pen tool, but it is a much more freehand way of drawing. And you can introduce stabilization on that to smooth out your corners. If you head over to the node tool, you'll still see you have nodes that can be edited the same as the pen tool, which gives you that flexibility, but you still have the uh, freedom of drawing by hand. And for the ultimate in artistic expression, Affinity offers a vector brush tool, which actually stretches an image across the path that you draw with your Apple Pencil. And we'll just zoom in, you'll see you get like a painted, hand-painted look, but with all the benefits of a vector, as you still get the nodes that you can edit and add and subtract and adjust as you need. So those are the three main ways you can draw with Affinity Designer. Each has its own strengths and weaknesses. You'll have to decide for yourselves how you use them. There is quite a lot of crossover between them and you can use them in combination with each other.